Hello, I'm Brian Mellett, London Underground's Engineering Director. The video you're about to see shows the operation of the tunnel cleaning train. This specialised piece of engineering plant is designed to remove dust and dirt from the underground tunnels, providing a clean environment for our customers and our staff. Dirt in our tunnels, consisting mainly of ferrous deposits, skin and hair, builds up at a rate of an eighth of an inch each year. It's been calculated that there are 150 tonnes of it, adhering to tunnel walls, cable runs, track beds and ballast, and some of it's been there for a hundred years. This is how we used to tackle the problem. A team of six could clean a hundred metres of tunnel each shift. Even then it would take 25 teams two years to partially clean today's tunnels just once and a wages bill of six million pounds. Tunnel dust is insidious. Although not chemically hazardous when inhaled, it becomes hazardous in concentration. It is not highly inflammable, but non-flame fires within it produce dense, choking smoke. Cleanliness standards are currently being developed. But creating a better working environment for those engaged in the essential work of track and cable repairs must become a priority as should improving the already highly stressful experience of passengers who have to be detrained in an emergency. Out of the tunnels, the dirt disturbed by train movement lies all around our system in the public areas, our platforms, trains, escalators and seats. We spend £15 million each year on cleaning and are sometimes reluctant to prioritise getting to grips with the cause. London Underground has an efficient and cost-effective means of removing 80% of the problem. The tunnel cleaning train is a five-car unit which operates on normal traction current and travels to site at normal speed. Speed is then reduced to approximately half a mile an hour using a hydraulic drive system and cleaning commences. Let's see how it works. High pressure air is targeted at the tunnel wall from the centre blower of the vacuum unit. This air can be aimed either high or low. Loose, as well as caked on dust, is dislodged, causing an airborne cloud which is simultaneously sucked back into the vacuum unit through its outer vents. The contaminated air then passes through a series of filters which trap all the tunnel dust in the refuse cars and allow filtered air back into the tunnel. Here you can see the compressed air blasting the dust off the area around this signal and the disturbed particles being removed from the area by the suction action of the train. For example, the full north and southbound sections between Baker Street and Charing Cross were cleaned in six weeks a task that would have taken a six-man manual cleaning team half a year. The tunnels have to be cleaned to remove the tunnel dust. If there wasn't a tunnel cleaning train, the only effective way of move, removing the dust would be by manual methods, just create airborne dust, and when you leave the site, the tunnel is back to where you start. With the new cost regulations coming in, the, you just cannot carry on with that method. Previously, as track manager for the Bakerloo line, I run the tunnel cleaning train on numerous occasions and found it to be very effective in the removal of tunnel dust from the tube environment. The benefits are twofold. One, for the fact that it gives a better environment for the travelling public, i.e. cleaner stations, and secondly, for the, actually, the staff that work in the tube environment. So anything that the company can do to actually remove the hazard has got to be beneficial to, cut, to staff morale and efficiency within the underground. Back at the depot, the night's work is emptied for disposal, in full compliance with the waste management legislation by using LUL's distribution services department. For every kilometre covered, three quarters of a tonne of tunnel dirt will have been removed. That excludes heavy litter, which is collected and stored separately. As separate areas of the tunnel are cleaned on each pass, special programmes can be tailored to your requirements and budget. If you only need a cable run clean, this can be arranged with obvious improvements in speed and cost. 
The short video you've just seen illustrates very well the cleaning process employed by the tunnel cleaning train and its effectiveness in removing loose tunnel dust and other debris from the track bed. Since Transplant assumed full responsibility for the tunnel cleaning train, its reliability has improved from 44% to 92% through adopting a team approach. This approach extends the planning and organising, recognising that the tunnel cleaning train can be disruptive to other engineering works. The tunnel cleaning train is an efficient and cost effective way of creating a cleaner environment for our customers and our employees. Whilst we continue to develop more appropriate cleaning standards, the tunnel cleaning train should be employed doing what it does best, creating a cleaner environment. Cleaner tunnels, improving the environment for our staff and our customers.